I know a lot of people are going to see this article and clown that dude like, yo, that's what you get for being a minority at a Trump rally, but not me. In fact, I feel sorry for that dude because he was probably at home decked out in his full Trump wear, head to toe with the matching hat, looking at himself in the mirror like, hoo, 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 they ain't ready. They ain't ready for me. I'm going to be starting on these holes. In fact, I might pull myself a Becky or a Tammy at this, at this rally and be accepted finally by the brethren. Then I can turn my back on those people because, you know, not all skin folk are kid folk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, drives down to this rally and gets beat up. Trump outfit ruined by his brethren. Now, I don't know if he was there to just attend the rally or if he was there to sell merchandise. I'll post the link below. You decide. But what happened was these two white Trump supporters beat up this black Trump supporter. And then when the cops show up, they go after the black Trump supporter. So if it was two black People beating up on a white guy with the cops be like, step aside, black citizens. We'll handle this white troublemaker. Something tells me, uh-uh. Now, despite all this, I'm pretty sure that black Trump supporter is still a Trump supporter, which, hey, you do what you want. I'm not here to change anybody's minds. My only request is the next time you go to one of these rallies as a minority, just look at the faces of the non-minorities looking at you. Does it look friendly or confrontational? Are they, are they giving you like a, what are you doing here? You don't belong look? Maybe they pull out their cell phone to get a photo or video of you like, yo, I got to get a picture of this so they can show their friends back home what a cool <clears throat> fool looks like. Fool.